Good evening. Thank you. We're, we're one of those bands that starts six minutes late tonight. We're kind of divas that way, you know. Uh, we are heard, I think this is our, maybe our fourth year playing. This is such a beautiful spot, perfect night tonight, right? And uh, we're gonna start with a tune called Caribou, which is Swahili for welcome.
I love how people, this is like a, sort of a, a park. People are spilling out into the, the parking lot, part of the park, and under the beautiful... Elm tree. What kind of tree is that? Elm. Elm tree. Wow. That's pretty special. An elm tree. Beautiful old elm tree. I love it. Um, how many years have you had this series now? Four. Four? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do a tune called Oh Fetcha. And uh, Zurich and I wrote this together, and we're going to be singing in Ga, which is one of the languages uh, of Ghana, Ghana, West Africa. And this tune is called Oh Fetcha. <laughs>
So folks, tonight we're playing, um, we're playing a combination of world music, world rhythms, jazz improvising, original compositions, and that's sort of our special melange of what we do in our group called Herd. And we've been together for at least 15 years. I think, um, right, we say we're together for like 25 or 30 years. We might really be dating ourselves, right, Zorky? <laughs> 20 years? Oh my gosh. This, 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 he looks like a kid, doesn't he? I, I met Jonathan when he was, I think, 19? 19, 19 years old. And now he's an a internationally touring musician all over. He just got back from Barcelona. Uh, he's, he winters in New Orleans on the street corners. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, We've created a couple albums together, and um, it's a, this, this group is just a blast. There's just so much going on, so much freedom musically. This next song we're gonna play is called Cote de Neige, and um, Cote de Neige refers to a part of Montreal, a neighborhood in Montreal, and a boulevard in Montreal that um, goes up to um, uh, St. Joseph's Oratorio. It's this very dominating cathedral. Um, up in that part of Montreal. And uh, there's no lyrics to this, it's just an instrumental image, just a memory of um, a blustery day in Montreal. There's lots of them, right? There's lots of them in Vermont, too.
here. That was pretty cool, that motorcycle. It, it was like, it was B flat. Right back there, maybe the F, I think the F. It was the F, yeah. Very cool, so you just, you know, you gotta appreciate these synchronicities in life. You know, how everything's connected, right? <laughs>
Thank you. That's the tune called Market Song. Um, wow, what a beautiful night. Uh, has anybody been to this series before? I'm, I'm assuming people are regulars. Yeah, raise your hand if you've been to the, the series before. Great. Um, and you've got a big, you've got something great going on tomorrow in town, right? The food truck festival? That looks incredible. That's downtown. I, I saw a poster for it in the bathroom. <laughs> and I also saw a poster of us in the bathroom, so thank you very much, Alex, for all the, the great promo. <laughs> um, what are we going to do next? Let's see. I think, um... What do you guys think? Maybe... Yeah. Uh, We're going to play one more tune in this set. This is called Malaika Malongo. <laughs>
We're going to take about a 10 minute break and we'll be right back. Thanks for listening. Hello, we're back. You folks are very quiet. <laughs> So well behaved. Like a change. We need to get like a bar here or something. Yeah, oh, there is a bar? Is that where you got the, the Mexican beer? Yes. Oh my gosh. Everybody, there's a bar. <laughs> okay, we're going to uh, start with a Brazilian tune called Fera Libra.
Thank you. Fair Viva. That's by um, a wonderful Brazilian composer and piano player, Jovino Santos Neto. He's uh, currently living in Seattle and he, he tours quite a bit, so look out for Jovino Santos Neto. He used to play with a, an amazing um, uh, multi instrumentalist and genius composer, Hermeto Pasqual, which may be a, a familiar name to some, Hermeto Pasqual. Um, we're going to do a traditional Ghanaian tune called Gota. This is an all percussion tune.
so um, Zerky has taught this group a lot over the years uh, about drumming and language, and we're we're about to enter into a more intensive period with that because we're hoping to, or we're planning at this point, we're planning on going to Ghana as a group um, next August. So probably actually a year from now we will be in Ghana. Um, there's uh, I guess I, I guess like any place where it's summer, there, there's some amazing festivals in Ghana in, in August, and uh, so we've mapped out about a two-week period that we want to be in, and based in Accra, and um, so we're going to be doing some grant writing, and uh, we're going to be studying with uh, Zorki all all fall and winter long, and and uh, get our language together a little bit more, and our our uh, our drumming skills. But that wasn't bad, right? <laughs> I think I might have surprised him a little bit because um, I actually play in a, a Brazilian samba group and that's, my, that's my, my drum. I play the kaisha and that's pretty much all I do. da 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 And it's, it's really just all about the accents and you can do a lot with the accents to make it sound very cool and it's also very challenging to mix up the, the accents but, but I think I actually, I think I passed the test at that tempo. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's joking. He's joking. <laughs> um, so, so that song, Gota, yeah. is, what part of Ghana is that from? Well, this, this Why don't you tell us? Yeah, it? it's part of, um, from Ghana, that means. Because when you go Accra, when you, you travel like maybe 45 minutes, you go Adangi. They speak what we're speaking, but they are kind of very, very slice a little bit. You know, so something when I said, Tashi, they can say, Tisha, you know, but the same Ghana people, you know, but they change the language a little bit. So it's from Ghana, Adangi. So I'm from Ghana and Adangi, Adangi people, so they speak different. So in Accra, we Ghana people always we like to be learn more, you know? So always it, it look like we're going around and still all the tribe language or all the tribe reading and then we copy. So we, we got people, we, we like to learn a lot. You know what I mean? Because I'm talking to someone two days ago about African dancing. And he's like, oh, I dance um, something from Senegal. I'm like, that's great. But you don't dance from Ghana. You can let Senegal dance, but when you can Ghana, it's kind of hard. You know? When you give me a Senegal reading, I can play Senegal reading like I'm from Senegal. But if I give Senegal drum up this drum, uh oh, no. It will take him a long time to understand this drum. Because this drum is like, you know, it's not like Jamie. When you play this, I don't think anybody will call police on you. But when you play Jamie, they'll call police on you. But Jamie is too loud. So when you play, somebody will be like, oh, this guy is disturbed. They'll call police on you. But this. <laughs> so we call this trenchy. We call it trenchy. But you know, sometimes when the name confuses you, you can call this pan logo drum. Pan logo. Pan logo drum. All right? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. So with our, um, our trip to Ghana in mind, if anybody is interested in purchasing some CDs or t-shirts. Zorky happened to wear his uh, this evening too. This is actually, this design is a really cool design um, by a fabric artist in Saratoga named Francelise Dawkins. And um, she, we've been kind of mutual fans for a long time. Um, uh, I really admire her artwork and she's always at our shows. And uh, so she designed this special, um, I think it was called um, Dancing Spirits is the name of this. Um, image that she created for us, so we have these for purchase here. Um, we're going to do a, a song from the Caribbean called 
Calypso.
Brian Green on the clarinet. Trying out some new reeds and new mouthpieces, new... <laughs> Mercury may be in retrograde. Does anybody know? <laughs> People like to just throw that out. It seems like it's in, in retrograde like two-thirds of the time, yeah, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's more left <laughs> How is it? Yeah. Yeah? It sounds great. He's, he's trying out some new mouthpieces. Is that what they are? Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, Jonathan Green on clarinet. Jonathan is a native of, I mean, honestly, if you want to be totally accurate, uh, San Juan Island, um, which is the, the namesake of the San Juan Islands, which are in Puget Sound, or off, you know, way out Puget Sound, actually. Yeah, up, you know, about, well, it takes like, it takes like a couple hours to get there from Seattle, because you've got to take, you know, ferries, drive, you know. Has anybody been there before, to the San Juan Islands? It's gorgeous, right? It, it's, it's really beautiful, and then, and, and the islands are very mountainous, like more like Rolling Hills actually it reminds me of um, where I'm from, which is just, just up the road in Lake George, like the kind of gentle, more gentle kind of foothill kind of mountains um, as compared to the Cascades that are up there. But it's just beautiful and it's, um, there's whales and, you know, he grew up amongst the killer whales. <laughs> <laughs> and that's... Yeah, so they, they greatly influenced his clarinet playing, you know. Um, so then, and then he moved to Seattle, really, um, I think, but primarily to study music. Uh, and uh, had traveled around the world playing music by the time he was a, a teenager. And landed at Skidmore College on a music scholarship. And we've had him here ever since. Although he's now a world traveler, you know. Yeah. Um, has anybody ever come up to the dance flurry in Saratoga? Okay, yeah. really? Raise your hands. Yeah. Jonathan curates the, the dance flurry. He does all the bookings for the music and, and, the, and the talent. So, um, and the dancers, of course, and the instructors. So, you know. Um, so that's, that's our Jonathan. Bobby Kendall on bass. Bobby also a Skidmore College graduate and a graduate of SUNY New Purchase as well. And a tremendous bass player, um, composer, filmmaker, just uh, all over creative person. You can tell by the sunglasses, you know. <laughs> he's just one of the cool ones, you know. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes he's wearing a Toronto Blue Jays cap. Any Blue Jays fans in the, in the house? No. I mean, wh where, does, where does Vermont land? Because you guys don't have a baseball team. Are, are you people like, Yankees or Boston? Okay, how many for the Yankees? How many for the Yankees? Okay, those are, and, and then the rest is Boston? Oh, oh, you guys, you're not even that deep into New England. That's, wow, that's some loyalty there, but no Blue Jays fans? No, Bobby, you're it. Yeah. So, um, Zerky Nelson. <laughs> on percussion, on drums, Zerky has been a Schenectady resident for about 20 years now, and originally from Accra, Ghana. And um, Zerky's very active uh, as a performer, as an educator uh, in, in the schools on every level in, in our area. Um, heard we also do um, a good amount of work in, in arts and education in the schools during the during the school school year. Uh, Zorki is getting going a um, a lot of youth orchestras now. Um, you, how many kids are you? He's he actually also plays flute. So watch out, Jonathan. He, did you bring a flute tonight? Did you have a flute in the bag? No. He plays an amazing bamboo, bamboo flute and he's trying to put together, he is putting together um, a flute orchestra of, uh, of kids. 
uh, based over in Schenectady. So he's doing, uh, he's, he probably already had three other gigs today uh, with kids in parks. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> And you, you look in his truck and he's got like like 19 drums. And, uh, so, and um, tomorrow, if anybody's free and wants to follow us uh, on the road, we'll be in Hudson uh, playing on the waterfront in a festival. And we'll uh, be featuring Zorky's son, uh, Felix, who dances with our group quite regularly. And another drum is Robert coming tomorrow. Robert's coming, so we'll have two uh, Ghanaian drummers and a dancer. And uh, so that's another variation of this band. We kind of blow up to, to um, seven, seven or more people in the band sometimes. And uh, so that's going to be a great night. Um, that's the group. Um, my name's Elizabeth. I'm, I'm, from, uh, I'm originally from the Glens Falls Lake George area. And I traveled around a lot of places and then landed back in this beautiful part of the world. Uh, I live in, in Troy currently, so I'm just a little pebbles throw. And it's amazing to put your GPS in and have it say like 39 minutes. It's great. You know? um, so, what was I thinking next? I was thinking, do you want to try and tease it? Yeah, okay, here. This one gets a little bored. He's, he's definitely turned into a globetrotter. So now, he wants to take us to Macedonia. Musically. Although I'm sure he wouldn't mind traveling to Macedonia either. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, what am I just gonna do? Okay. <laughs> 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 
that's a traditional tune from Macedonia called Antise. And um, it's funny, the first time I heard that piece was actually on an Irish CD. Um, it was a compilation uh, between um, it's some of the uh, Bothy band members, uh, Davy Spillane and Andy. Hmm. Uh, but it was, so it's Irish, Irish musicians playing um, Macedonian, Bulgarian uh, tunes. It was really, really cool and captivating. Thank you. You, you. you want to use it for another song? No. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. You were awesome. You were awesome. Thank you so much. So that's where I first heard that tune, and then I, I just fell in love with it. It has such an entrancing melody. And first row here, you were really getting into it, especially the ladies. And yes, in the plaid shirt, you have this like cobra thing going. I thought you were gonna, uh, yeah, I, I thought you were gonna like strike me like, with your fangs or something. It, it, it was really super cool. Um, and and over here in the in the mustard colored ensemble, you were about to skyrocket out of your chair. I think we need some. It's belly dancing, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. When when you come to the dance floor, do you do you do the belly dancing? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there going to be some um, belly dancing this this year? Uh, yeah, I can't reveal the schedule yet. It's top secret. But um, yeah, there is, there's something really just um, entrancing about that piece and that, that style of music. Wow. Um, and Zorki is, he, he's playing Twimshi tonight, but he's also playing Cajon, which is a Peruvian instrument. And this is basically a box, a very reverberant box with some snares on it. Um, so, um, They're leather on the front, and sometimes they're a lot bigger, guys. Bigger, square. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. But this is a, a Peruvian drum that's kind of it's kind of taken the world by storm. So like you see it everywhere. I mean, um, our 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 other drummer, our second drummer, Brian Malik, plays it in a blue bluegrass band. I mean, everybody's got a cajon these days, right? Yeah. Um, okay, we've got a few more tunes to do for you. I'm looking. Oh, let's do um. Should we do, should we do half a place? Do we have enough? Drums for half a place? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. We're going to do another song from Ghana. Should I let you tell them what's going on? Okay, so my extra challenge tonight is that my, um, my pedal has reversed polarities and I can't get it to flip. So you may have noticed in that last song, which had a uh, synth going the whole time, that I didn't, I didn't touch it at all. I don't have my foot on the pedal at all. It's just like, but consequently, um, you know, you know, if I want to have a detached sound tonight, I've got to. What do I have to do? I have to flip everything. I have to. Push down if I want uh, this, and then you gotta, you know, so I'm I'm tr I'm doing that in my head. So you know, so extra applause for that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's, it's some kind of mathematical something. It's a. Um, what were we gonna do? 
Happy place. Happy place. Oh, yes. Yes. There we go. That's my marimba. There you are. Yeah. These guys like this keyboard because it's got some good sounds, but I am not bringing this tomorrow night. No way, guys. I'm bringing my other one. All right, so this is called Happy Place. Oh, say.
Thank you, that's Happy Place. That's on our second CD called Flyway. Um, we got a couple more tunes for you. Let's play, how about Far Lands and Malabuga? Yeah? So this is a tune called Far Lands. Anybody, um, anybody get out to the Cape this summer yet? Um, out to Provincetown? There's, a, there's actually a, a restaurant out there called Far Lands. Um, and when you're in Provincetown, you're really, you're, you're out far, you're at the very, very tip of the cape. And I just thought it was a great uh, image, and uh, it was an inspiration for this song called Farlands. didn't go to the Cape, where did you go this summer? You know, you don't really need to go anywhere, right? When you're in the green mountains of Vermont and you have a free concert series every Friday night. <laughs> Staycation, right? <laughs>
Thank you, friends. So, our last tune of the night is called Mama Bukum. And this is kind of a kind of a reggae tune. A Ghanaian reggae tune that Zorky wrote for his his mother. And his mom lived in the Bukum neighborhood of Accra, Ghana. And this is his tribute to his mom. Mama Bukum. It's really easy to dance to, and it's also very easy to sing along with, so.
just a beautiful night out here, folks. So, so glad this worked out for us. Uh, again, our fourth year here, and enjoy the rest of your summer. I think there's still a, a week or a couple weeks left of the series. Yes? Uh, I wonder what's next, coming up next. Does anybody have their schedule in front of them? Next Friday night? Um, well, um, I would try your best to get here, because I think there's gonna be something <laughs> great going on. And the food truck and the food trucks tomorrow, um, enjoy your beautiful valley here in the Green Mountains of Vermont. Thank you.